Good morning, everyone. This is Cindy with my altered muse. And I have yet, <coughs> excuse me, every time I get on here, I cough. I have yet another Valentine journal. Um, I'll keep making them as long as people are enjoying them. So, um, yeah, let's do a quick flip through. I have found it's just easier and more productive to do a flip through so you can see everything rather than just the still pictures in my Etsy shop. And I'll have a link um, below, right down here, um, to my Etsy shop. So, um, okay, let's get started. Um, here again, we have, let me, let me see if I'm, I might can come down just a little bit here and make it well no okay there um have again one of um my pretty covers uh i used um, double face satin ribbon a handmade um paper rose on this one i added a little um um, page protector, cover protector right here. I did hand stitching. This is slow stitching right here on the page. And I double layered it with, um, papers from uh, my porch prints. Pretty rose pattern. Nice for, um, Valentine's Day. And then down here, I added a um, another piece of my pretty um, crochet ribbon. And then I added a small ecru um, crochet doily. A pink button with some pink thread sewn on. And then right here, I did a little... Um, Clust, I mean, I mean a little dangle. I put a, a little button. I put a key and I put a little dangle that I made. Okay, so let's open it up and let me make sure everything is all lined up. And it is. Okay. I hope everybody's doing well today. I have so enjoyed making all these pretty little journals. Um, here I have some pretty, this is just a soft rose um, lace that I've had for quite a while. It's vintage. And over here, I have, I did a pocket. And behind the pocket, I put some pretty Valentine papers. Um, I think everything, I think everything in this journal is from my porch prints. If it's not, I'll let you know. But um, I did a pretty page here, and I have just lots of Valentines in here. With journaling on the back, um, you can use them as Valentines. You can use them as tags, journaling spots. Just, um, just turned out really pretty. I just really enjoyed this um, Valentine experience. So, oh, and the book measures um, five by seven. And uh, so here we go. This is the first tag, and I'll just slide them in so you can see them. That's the first one. And then this is the second one. And then I have two this size. One has roses on it and one's plain. And um, then this one is sweet. It's got um, a little um, picture of um, crochet yarn and flowers and just really pretty. And then down at the bottom I added a ticket. Okay, on this page, um, I did the background in three layers and made a pocket here. And I added um, two of these really pretty, um, this is a soft paper. I'm not sure where I got these. I ordered them from somewhere. 
and they're just a real soft paper and um, just just really pretty so I've got two of those in this pocket and then we're going to turn it over and um, this page is layered up and um, I have a pocket here and um, I have a tag with some roses and a pretty lady and a tag with hearts on it. Okay, over here on this page, uh, this is another layout from my porch prints and this is a ticket and I layered up the pocket and um, now this is not from my porch prints and I am not sure where I got this. It has been in my stash for a long time, but I think it's very pretty and it's a lovely journaling spot. So that goes there. And then um, this is a little round that I've cut out of some roses and it tucks in there. And then over here on this page, um, let me take all these pretties out. Okay, on this page that I layered also from my porch prints, and um, this is a pretty um, journaling spot. It's um, a reprint of some vintage um, music with a rose, and I put that in the back. And then, um, <coughs> I love this. I love the, the mug with the chocolate, hot chocolate in it and this candy canes. I love that one. That goes there. And then this is a nice little tag with some writing lines. And then some more pretty roses. And then this is a, just a cute little fold over pocket tag that you can write in. Um, cute little hat with a heart on it and I just tucked it right in there and then on this page we have um, more layering from my porch prints and here's another little tag with lines on it and I added another one of these pretty little tags with, uh, with all the pink on it and then this is a small tag thought that was pretty cute and then I, this is, uh, this is actually a, um, little piece. I think it is from Tracy Fox, I believe. Some of her, um, t little cutouts. And then I added some pretty ribbon. I mean, ribbon. <laughs> Lace. Okay, then on this page, I did some blue. And I just think she, uh-oh, let me get my scissors here and um where are my scissors i don't know if i have any i'll have to fix that um in fact i'll just put another one in um somehow or another she got cut but um i think she is just beautiful and um yeah she got that pretty blue hat on she tucks in here and i will fix that and then this page um, is a pocket, and this is one a large hat, and I did um, stickles on it. And then you pull this out, and we have a lady that just looks like she's enjoying Valentine's Day. And I'm going to tuck her back in there, and there is room for many more tuck, tucks in there. And then this is a pretty page. I love the blue. You can journal across here and here. And then I added a pretty tag and another lady. And then over here I have a lovely journaling page with hearts floating around on it. And this is a heart tag and a cute little X in the old tag. And then we're going to flip over and more journaling. I fussy cut that out. I thought that turned out pretty. And then in this pocket, I tucked in um, 
a little card that says handmade by Cindy Ruff 2023 and then over here we have some more beautiful paper and um, I thought she was so pretty I love that Valentine lady and her little girl and th that is not my porch prints and this is not either this is a um, a reprint of a vintage postcard and it goes right in there and there's a lady I thought she was pretty and then the ladies tuck into the back and then here's another journaling page I thought this was beautiful and then that finishes up this Valentine journal and I think it turned out so pretty and I will get this, um, I will get the link uploaded and get this up for you so you can, um, go look at it in my shop. And I'm off to f put another picture of a lady that I didn't accidentally cut her. And, um, I appreciate everybody so much being so supportive of my Valentine experience this year. I have, um, many journals that have gone to, um, be Valentine presents uh, in people's homes. And it always makes me feel so good to know that, um, my work is, um, appreciated and loved and, in people's homes. So I want to thank you so much and I will talk to you again very, very soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.